Hey everyone, Hobbyist here, back at it again with our next review, and I just watched the first season of Attack on Titan, and I gotta say, out of all forms of anime and manga media, I, I really hate doing this, but Attack on Titan was really good, okay? Don't get me wrong, the massive scale of everything, the sharp, bold lines that outlines each of the individual characters, and Attack on Titan does a really great job of capturing this hopelessness, more darker, more depressing atmosphere that is normally associated with it. But I just gotta be honest with you guys here. And I, I really hate to do this, but I keep inevitably comparing this to Berserk. Specifically the manga, because let's face it, Berserk has never had a good anime adaptation. And the manga just doesn't even compare. But when it comes to just comparing anime to anime, and not so much anime to manga, Attack on Titan does a really good job of going the more darker route in comparison to anything else around it. But from a storytelling standpoint, this definitely has its feels that remind me a bit like of Game of Thrones, because there's definitely in the first season with Petra and several of the other characters in this first season who unpredictably die to where you're a little bit apprehensive to try to get attached to anybody because you could literally lose them at any moment. And there was definitely a couple of moments inside of past when Aaron and the rest of the gang joined the Survey Corps to where there was a Titan jump scare. That kind of got me as well. But trying to think of this all together for season one. Honestly, I was a bit underwhelmed. But that's primarily because inside my head, I just kept comparing it to Berserk. And was like, but Berserk did this better. But Berserk did this better. But Berserk did this better. I mean, I gotta be honest with you guys. The Annie twist of her being a titan didn't really do anything for me because one i saw the twist coming and it just made sense it was literally a blonde titan and the only first blonde character that came to my mind was annie seeing the different sides of the world building as far as like the difference between the survey corps and the military police and the military police versus the garrison and how each plays a role inside the three walls and the equipment and stuff. Although that was really cool. The world building on Attack on Titan is done very well inside of first season. And that's something that I can firmly compliment. As well as, of course, the tones of the entire show. But I still think that Berserk is better. My god, do I think Berserk is better. Not just because of how jarring Berserk is in comparison to what Attack on Titan can do. But, like, just to keep it fair and not compare the whole story of Berserk to the first season of Attack on Titan, I'll just go with the Black Swordsman arc, simply put. Leave out the Golden Age, the Conviction, the Millennium arc, anything like that. So, with the Black Swordsman arc, there's just so much more mystery. Like, we, we get an inkling an inkling of what it is to come with Guts and with learning about his past and all of that. All of that is kept under wraps. We get this unusually hardened, edgy character, which at first comes off and seems like a trope that often likes to be used in anime and mangaka. But there's more to him about it. We see just how grueling these fights are that Guts gets himself into inside the Black Swordsman arc. Then we start to learn about the God Hand, and then things start to pop up with more questions when Guts goes off at screaming Griffith's name in a blood-curdling scream, and we don't know why. Some of the amazing panel shots that are inside of the Black Swordsman arc, especially when they shift into this whole other room sort of thing. And 
the backstory of the dad and revealing the monstrous acts he did and how he sold his soul to become a part of the God Hand and how he was essentially condemned to hell for his actions unless he chose to sacrifice his daughter, which he didn't do. But just that within of itself and just how much world building was done and just how much mystery was unfolded with Guts. Just Black Swordsman arc. We're not talking anything including the Golden Age arc or anything like that inside of the realms of the Zerk. Anything past that. We're just going to cut all that out and we're going to just leave the Black Swordsman arc. And there was just so much more to get invested in the Guts because Guts was just such this mystery. But with Eren... Now, I know... Just because Attack on Titan's been out for a while, you see plenty of pictures, plenty of memes, to where he's going to get this long hair and that he's going to go through a character change. I'm interested to seeing how this character change comes to be, but first season of Attack on Titan, I'm not immediately invested in anybody. Maybe that's a good thing, because again, Attack on Titan's going for this whole darker, more depressing, never knowing who's going to die or win. They're going to get, die, sort of thing. And maybe that's the whole goal, is to not immediately attach yourself to any one character. But that's also just sort of the problem. There's not enough hope to where I want to be invested. I'm not really invested in Aaron right now, because he's just this whiny kid right now. Armin is smart, and he's semi-interesting. Mikasa is somewhat interesting. Levi's a total badass, not gonna lie. Rainer's cool. But other than that, I kind of was a little bit numbed of Attack on Titan. Just because I, I didn't really feel anything. Or it was just kind of feeling like I was going through the motions of watching another anime. It feels bad. I, I don't want to watch blindly. I want to be invested. Not gonna lie, Attack on Titan has some very swift action. Like when the action cranks up and it's the camera is following the character and it has all these various motions and stuff, it looks really cool. But aside from that, there's nothing really else that I can say here as far as what goes on with Attack on Titan. I don't know. I could be wrong, the seasons could totally change the way that I view it. It might change my overall opinions on the show as a whole. Let me know down in the comments below if you guys feel that the first season of Attack on Titan was any good, or if it's just kind of meh. Because like I said, I keep comparing it to the Black Swordsman arc in Berserk, and just going through just how much we're given, but still how much is held back in just that one story arc in comparison to the entirety of the first season of Attack on Titan. Sure, there's the mystery behind where the Titans came from and all of that, but I don't feel pressured or inclined to care why we should find out that these Titans, and more importantly, why their origin is important to us as an audience. I mean, it's sure important to the characters, but it's not compelling enough to where I'm like, I have to know where the Titans came from, if that makes any sense. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to hit that like, share, and a comment down below, and make sure you let your thoughts be known. And uh, possibly hit that subscribe button as well. I've got other content stemming from Talisman to any motivational shorts that I've got for you guys, if you need some motivation. But other than that, I'll see you guys around.